What's up guys? Tyler Livesey from the MX Factor here in beautiful Austin, Texas. Today we're going to talk about getting faster on your dirt bike. How do you get faster on your dirt bike? What do you do to get faster on your dirt bike? Do you even want to get faster on your dirt bike? Do they even want... Carson, do they even want to get faster? They do. Okay, we're going to tell them how. Okay, so here's how it goes. I'm gonna give you our theory here at the MX Factory, how we coach all of the riders that come through here and how we try to keep riders on this track, okay? So you may have seen it on our Instagram, but it's this, it's the TTC. The TTC, TTC. The first T is for technique, the second T is for terrain, and the third C is for competition. All right, so the first T is technique. Let me explain a little bit about technique. If you don't have a good technique foundation, you're never gonna be able to go on a difficult terrain, which is the second T, and execute decent technique. So how you develop this good technique is by repetition. You need to find a coach, or you need to find some online instruction, i.e. the MX Factory YouTube channel, where we've got hundreds of video explaining proper technique, and you've gotta put hours and hours and hours in on that technique, and how many hours? you say? I would say at least everything that you do needs 15 to 20 hours of work. At least every single little thing, meaning footwork, hip work, head work, arm work, sit, stand, power, brake, all that. They all separately need 15 to 20 hours of work and then you've got to start combining those things together to create that flow. Understand guys, don't move on. Don't go race right away. You're going to plateau. How many people can you think of if you go to the local practice track that have been the same speed for the last 10 years? more than you can think of that are making tons of progress. Okay, just to elaborate a little bit on the technique and how you can improve when you go to the track, you wanna find an environment that doesn't challenge you. So you want a flat field or a flat track or something where there's not a lot of things to run into or different obstacles. You want that to be as easy as possible. And then you wanna start with ground up thinking. Footwork, where are my knees, where are my hips, where are my head, where are my arms? How am I moving around on the bike? You need to reference our videos to get the details of all this stuff, but make sure you think from ground up in an environment that does not challenge you. You want the environment to be as easy as can be. Nine times out of 10 guys, what you think you're doing is different than what you're actually executing. So make sure you have a buddy, your mom, dad, take a video of you and match it to our videos. Where's Tyler standing? Where's, where am I standing? Where's Tyler sitting? Where am I sitting? And see if that looks the same. If it doesn't, you need to go adjust, but make sure you get a little video or a picture or something where you can reference back and see if you're actually doing what you think you're doing. If you guys want to support the MX Factory, the best way to do that is we have shopmxf.com where we're selling our merch. All that money goes back into buying new merch, designing new merch, and getting more cool stuff for you guys to wear. So make sure you check out shopmxf.com. The second T, terrain. If you get these flip-flops and you go terrain before technique, you plateau. The second technique is terrain. You challenge yourself with difficult terrain. You challenge yourself with deep ruts. You challenge yourself with big bumps. If we make the technique good, we can tackle that with speed. If we have poor technique at speed, this becomes very dangerous, okay? And you're only gonna go as comfortable as you feel like going unless you have a little screw loose, which most of us do, including myself. I have to tame that beast, right? So make sure, first T is good, second T is also a repetition thing. Make sure that you're thinking about your technique now. It's gonna be harder when you get to a big rut to think about getting the leg in the right place, the upper body in the right place, executing throttle at the right time, all of that stuff, right? It's just adding a layer to what your mind has to take on. We're really in a mind game here. How much can we process in our mind and how can we put it into place on the track, okay? So make sure you focus on that. The third thing is gonna be our C, that's competition. If you wanna see what you have as habits, drop the gate. Those are your habits, right? Because the mind turns off as far as thinking about what you're doing and goes immediately to how to battle the competition or even just stay alive or what place am I in or how do I not crash or what kind of start am I gonna get? All these things are gonna be going through your head. Nothing about your technique is gonna drop in there. You wanna know how your technique is good and how you put enough repetition in? If you can drop the gate and actually think about executing those things without worrying about your outside world. That's how you know you're that comfortable on the motorcycle. So make sure you go like this. Technique, that's gonna take a long time. I'm not messing with you guys. That's gonna take a long time to have really good technique. Then you move over difficult terrain. You go find harder tracks. You go find softer, ruddier, more difficult tracks and you stay there and you rep it out. You rep your technique out. And then you go to the races. Then you drop the gates. Then you put yourself in that vulnerable spot where there's people that can run into you 
cut you off in the air, stop in front of you, hit you from behind. All these things are gonna turn the brain off. You gotta make sure that all the other stuff is good before you get there if you wanna have the most success there. That's how you win races. That's how you become a great racer. Not a good racer, not an okay racer, a great racer. Do those first two first. You're gonna have a lot of fun on that seat, baby. We'll see you next time.